Ooh, who are you? What are you doing here? No one's allowed around the world, Hart. You seem nervous. Yeah. Normally the only people to come out here are albs, or outlaws. Which are you? Are you responsible for the world heart here? That's what you care about? The world heart? What about the men sent with it? If we wither, it does too. Goliath should care as much about us as they care about that plant. But yes, what are we next to a world heart? Ants in history. Here we are standing by the future of Magalon. The very thing given to us in Magalon's hour of need. Maybe that's what Vorn meant. He told me being a cultivator was about learning who you are. Out here, isolated with this thing to care about, I've certainly gained perspective. What is a cultivator? Well, we're farmers, in the main. We grow the crops for Goliath, and we tend to the seedlings and the world hearts. The warriors act like they're the big guys, but really, they're here to protect us. Warriors might get the glory, but it's us cultivators who are changing the world. How long have you been doing this? Oh, I didn't want to do it. This was a sentence. I got sent here as punishment five years ago. Punished? And you say you enjoy doing this? Yeah, masochist, aren't I? Beer, women, and fights were all that used to matter. Now, I get a kick from seeing just a few seedlings a season make it all the way to mature. I can take pride from that. Tell me, what do you know about Ascor's murder? Mm, nothing, really. I don't hear much from Goliath out here. So, you were here when he was killed? Probably. I haven't been anywhere else in months. I only go back for supplies or to transport seedlings. When was Ascor killed? Three months ago, around Mana's Eve. Oh, uh, then I was back in Goliath sometime around then. I've lost track, to be honest, but whenever it was, I didn't see anything. How well do you know Ascor? Not at all. I mean, I knew of him. People talked about him. But I don't think I ever said more than hello to him, and he ignored me. He didn't really have time for cultivators. But, you know, people can be like that. Some value our work, others think they're superior somehow. Do you know where they found Ascor's body? I'm guessing somewhere in the forest, or why ask me, right? Did you hear anything else about Ascor? Well, I'm wondering why you're not asking me about the seedling that disappeared the same night Asker was murdered. No one seems to be asking about it. And from what I heard, it wasn't just a seedling, it was one close to maturity. I heard it was being sent to a cultivator in the hope it could go on to Tavar or somewhere as a new world heart. But it never arrived. Do you carry a sword? Of course. It's dangerous out here. You work here on your own? Most of the time. That's part of the punishment. It didn't used to be as lonely. They'd send patrols out to check on us. But since the Albs started attacking, we've been left on our own out here. Yeah, I guess we're not a priority. I don't think you killed Ascor. Me? Of course I didn't. You really don't think you have a motive? You mean the seedling he had? I'm a cultivator. I look after a world heart. I want to know what happened to the seedling he had. Why aren't you investigating where it went? You're out here with a sword, and no witnesses. If I tried to attack a warrior with a sword, chances are you'd be planting me in the ground. How safe is the world heart here? You mean, with the Albs scouting out Goliath? They don't seem to register it. The world heart mustn't be their mission, or they don't know about it. He'd kill me fast enough, though. That is, if the animals didn't get me first. Or I don't eat the wrong thing and get poisoned. Still, all in a day's work. Anything you want me to report to Ragnar? Yeah. Can you tell him about the World Heart? That it's okay? He should know we're still working, even though the patrols aren't coming to check. But if you're offering to help, there is one thing. I've not had any supplies from Goliath. 
Can you get them to send someone with my food supplies? What do you mean the Alps don't register the world heart? They don't come here. They bypass it, keeping their distance. You'd think they'd come straight for it, huh? It's eating Elix, and they sort of want all the Elix, don't they? Maybe they don't like the mana. The mutants here love it, but when they eat it, it makes them sick. Maybe the Albs can sense that, and they want to stay healthy. Why plant the world heart out here where it's in danger? <laughs> you don't understand much about our ways, do you? So tell me. We're changing the world with them. Wherever you plant a world heart, it extracts the elix from the ground, pulls the poison out of the soil. It makes the soil come back to life, lets Magalan's nature return to it. So whenever we plant a world heart, life follows. The more we plant, the more of Magalan is restored. We have to plant them in places like this because it's where they make a difference. This. All this around us is because of the world heart. So where do the world hearts come from? <laughs> I don't know. They found the first ones, the first berserkers. They realized what it could do, that it fed on Elix rather than dying from it. So they started cultivating them. I will ask about your food supplies. Thank you. Cinda is probably the best person to ask. She's fierce. I mean, ball-shriveling fierce, but gets things done. I'm not asking for anything special, just the usual supply run. Or just, well, <laughs> anything, to be honest. We're hungry out here. Won't they send you supplies? At some point, when they remember. Trust me, you going and asking will be faster than us waiting for them to remember. Our stomachs have better memories than they have. Listen, Goliad aside, there's a plant, the Cultivator's Loaf. If we could collect some of that, it would help us. It grows everywhere, but we've just not had time to collect them. Four dozen should be enough. Four dozen? Yes, hopefully that would last us until we get another supply run. Say, let's round it up. Can you bring me 50? It would save you a trip to Goliad. Where do you get your supplies from? Directly from Goliath, normally. Sometimes, we'll get something from passing hunters. But you can't rely on that. Why have the deliveries come to a halt? The Alb attacks. The warlords have put all the warriors on defense and cut down on the supply runs. We're supposed to be self-sufficient out here. But with more Alb attacks and more creatures, we don't have time to grow, forage, or hunt anymore. Eirdor needs supplies. Eirdor? The cultivator? Yes, I suppose he's not had any supplies for a while. But he will have to wait. He can forge in the forest. The people here can't. I promised I'd get him supplies. I'm not responsible for your promises. I have a whole town to feed. If you don't help him, he will die. Then he's not much of a cultivator, is he? Everybody's up against it. Everybody needs supplies. Everything I've got here has already been assigned. Except for a load of bread I had to throw out because no one picked it up from the baker until it was too late. I mean, what use is moldy bread? For the one of a few men, we waste resources that we're already short of. Is moldy bread all there is? For now. I'll get someone out there with better supplies when I can. But honestly, I can set up four other supply runs to other people in the time I can get someone to him. 
Until all this is sorted out, I've got to put my supplies where they'll do the most good. Can we trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. A world heart. The hearts of all berserkers beat with them, for they shall heal the world. I have brought supplies. You have? Oh, I'm salivating already. I have brought you the cultivator's loaf. You are a born gatherer. Excellent. Not now. 